Nestled in the Mount Baker Snoqualmie National Forest lives a giant power source known as the Baker River Dam. It is Puget Sound Energy's largest hydropower facility. This year marks the 10-year anniversary of PSE being awarded a 50-year federal operating license for the Baker River Hydroelectric Project. The Baker River Project includes two concrete dams and reservoirs made up of Baker Lake and Lake Shannon. It creates more than 7,250 acres of water surface that provides public recreation, fisheries, flood control, and hydropower generation benefits. Over the last 10 years, we've invested multiple millions of dollars in infrastructure upgrades here on the Baker Project. Probably most noteworthy to date being the Unit 4 powerhouse here at Lower Baker, which allows us to manage flows in the Skagit River for fish. The next project in the starting blocks is the uh, Dam Crest Improvement Project. We'll be taking down the deck of the dam down to about the sills level and replacing the existing 23 spill gates with 12 new ones. That'll allow us to better manage flood water uh, as well as spill debris. Public safety is a top priority for Puget Sound Energy. Our dam safety team constantly monitors our dams and conducts tests to ensure structural integrity. Today we're doing a spill test and we're going to open up uh, multiple gates at Upper Baker Dam when we have full head or a high lake elevation and it's going to help us understand how is the dam operating when we're moving this much water in a controlled environment. The Baker River Hydroelectric Project is more than just a source of energy. It's also a multi-use property that satisfies the needs of many. The project contains diverse resources ideal for fish habitat, hydroelectric development, and cultural and recreational activities. The Baker River supported early Native American inhabitants of the region, as well as new settlement at the turn of the century. Inside the Baker Clubhouse, once we restore it, it will include interpretation education features such as the cultural history, the recreational history, our fishery story that we have here, which is quite remarkable. Also the history of the dam building processes, hydroelectric electricity, our Puget Sound Energy story as uh, one of the oldest companies in Washington, including the Portland Cement Company, the remnants of that are here on site. The first dam was built almost 100 years ago and you know we didn't have that consultation at the time with the tribe and so just having a say in our future is something we didn't have prior to this settlement agreement. We're pleased with the way things have gone so far. We want to continue to work and be an integral part of the progress that goes on in the Baker Valley and the Baker Watershed. Part of this project also focuses on some of the popular residents of the area like the elk, birds, fish, and other wildlife. In partnership with local tribes, agencies, and nonprofits, PSC has purchased over 800 acres for elk habitat enhancement. As part of our commitment to our FERC license, PSC is managing our Alder Creek and Burpee Hill properties for long-term forage for elk. The elk love this area. They come in here in just droves and they forage. They'll eat this grass down to a nub this winter. If you're on a boat, Baker Lake is a popular fishing destination that draws many every year. The improvements of this project have led to the increase in adult salmon and created a great sport fishing lake. When we accepted the license uh, back in 2008, we signed up to do basically two different things here on Baker. Support the existing recreation on the, the project and construct some new facilities to meet future demands. Baker Lake offers visitors with overnight facilities that include the Coma Cullion Campground and the Baker Lake Lodge. Making sure visitors and nature coexist is a top priority. Over the last 10 years, PSC has been determined to focus on protecting the life cycle of fish through this project. As part of our license, PSC invested in floating surface collectors to help juvenile salmon migrate out of the project, into the Baker River, and out to the ocean. The efforts are paying off. In 2017, we had over 1.1 million fish, which is an all-time record. And in 2018, we're expecting to break over a million again. We had over 52,000 sockeye salmon return to the Baker River. It's unprecedented. In fact, now we're getting numbers beyond what we've ever seen in the past. It's phenomenal. Now that PSC's hatchery construction is complete, more than 8.5 million sockeye fry are being produced annually for release into the Baker Basin Reservoirs. The hatchery has also generated enough sockeye salmon eggs to help restore salmon 
salmon runs in adjacent systems at the direction of our resource co-managers, the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife, and the tribes. The upstream fish trap, the floating surface collector of both Baker Lake and Lake Shannon, fish come into our trap. They come into the lock, which is an aquatic elevator that brings the fish up to the top where we can sample them. They collect biological information. They continue their journey up to the tributary streams where they spawn. And then they're brought up to Baker Lake and released. It makes me feel proud to be part of a system and a project where they care about fish and they care about doing what's right. It's exciting to know that we've been restoring the salmon and bringing them back. Under the federal license, PSC is dedicated to making improvements to the Baker Lake hydroelectric project over the next 40 years to ensure Baker Dam is a safe and viable place for everyone while improving the surrounding environment.